Alrighty guys, Matt Van Mondello coming at you live from the Garden Double Rock here in beautiful Alabama. Mr. Joe, I am scared to pronounce the name. Ben Rebeck, you Ben, hey, yeah. Joey! <laughs> Alright. Anyway, Joe went ahead and uh, he did a send in with us, okay? He did a, um, did an Xbox Slim here. So, uh, what we did was is he wanted, uh, he wanted a green fan wrap around the fan. I was like, okay, no problem. I uh, wanted a 2 terabyte drive, which we did. Put an Ace V3 in it. It's up on a line server, along with the 10-day trial of the Purge. It's got the BO2, MW3, and Ghost All Posts. Uh, it's got uh, GSC menus, Jiggy, and Sentinel for BO2. And uh, it's all done, Joe. All right, so we got it all done. And they went, hey, Morgan, how are you, man? Doing good. Doing good. Just hanging on in there, doing the thing, man. Uh, getting this thing done for Joey here. Matthew, good to see you. Well, everybody's like popping up here on this beautiful Sunday afternoon, or should I say Sunday evening, or late afternoon, or whatever the hell it is. But, um, anyway, uh, we got this all done, and, uh, sorry for the, for the delay in it there, uh, Joey, but unfortunately I didn't pencil in a heart attack for me last week. You know, I mean, um, yeah, these things do happen every now <laughs> Yeah, yeah, wait a minute, uh, listen, I got a schedule to keep, you know, I mean, so just let me pencil in this heart attack, so that way then I, I, you know, I can get it out of the way, and then... Then I can do yours, you know? So anyway, <laughs> Joey, here it is, man. All right, we're going to power it up. All right, as you can see, you got a nice little green fan wrap on there. It's definitely blinding, and it boots up, no problems. All right, everything is good. And there you are. All right, so we're going to boot into FSD Dash. We're going to get some notifications from the server, letting us know, uh, you know, letting us know we're online, live, and all that kind of good stuff. Hey, Kieran, how are you, man? Good to see you, bud. Yep, doing good. Doing good, man. Doing good. Uh... Just, just, uh, just hanging out, doing my thing, man. So, we're going to boot up here, and, uh, we're on FSD. And then I'm going to give you a quick tour of this thing, okay? So, uh, you know, being that this is a 2 terabyte drive, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty loaded, all right? Um, so anyway, you have your emulators, of course, you got three of them, all right? You got main, Genesis Plus 360, SNES 360. There's over 7,000 ROMs just alone, just in these right here. So, in the classic games, stand-up arcade games, you know, this is where to be. Then, of course, you have your Xbox Classic Games. There's a load of them, all right? And uh, you got that all in there. So that's the original Top 20 model back from 2002. All right? And then, of course, we have our homebrew section with the tools reside where you can blow the console up really easy. Okay? So be careful in here. All right? And then, of course, we have Xbox Live Arcade. And, I mean, there is a load of arcade stuff on there. I mean, a... I mean, it just goes on and on and on. I mean, uh, I, you know, we're just in the S's. This goes, um... You know, it, 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 I mean, there's so much. One of my favorites right there. <laughs> that reminds me of myself. All right. And then, of course, we have the Xbox 360 games, and there is a whirlwind of them, as you can see. Okay. I mean, it is. You won't get bored. I'll put it to you that way. You'll have plenty to do on this thing. All right. As it goes on and on and on and on and on. Okay. So, anyway, we'll back out of there. It has multi dashboard on it. Okay. What I mean by that is we have. Um, we went ahead and what we did was is we put, uh, you know, everybody likes different dashboards. Some people like FX Menu, some people like XCX Menu, some people like Aurora, some people like uh, FSD, some people like Stock. Okay, well, you, this is an RGH, so you can set it up any which way you want. Uh, but what I did was I included all of the dashboards for you. Okay, so we'll hit Dash Launch here. All right, and then uh, what I'll do is I'll show you in here. Okay, under Patch, you'll see the default is Freestyle Dash, of course, right? Button B, if you hold it down while it's booting, all right, it's going to go into FX Menu. Bottom line, we'll go into the stock dashboard, okay? Now, left bumper, that's not cool. That should have been, that should have been already there. Well, we'll change that anyway, okay? So, we'll do left bumper, we'll do HDD, and we'll put that in there, we'll put a roller in there. Yeah, there we go, okay? And then, then we'll put that there, okay? So, if you hold down left bumper, well, now it'll boot into a roller as well. So, uh, what, what I'm going to do here is let me save this real quick, all right? There we go. All right, good. All right, now, uh, you know, now... With this right here, okay, you can hold down whatever button while it's booting and it'll boot into the appropriate dashboard, okay? Now, uh, if you want to change the default to Aurora, if you like Aurora layout a little better, you can do that. Just go to default, hit A, hit the double dot folder, go to Aurora right here, hit A, bring it down to Aurora XEX, and you'll see now change it to Aurora. Hit RB, bring it down to HDD, hit X to save it, and beat it back out and boot up into Aurora. All the dashboards are already loaded. They're set up. They already have everything that they need. And, you know, you don't have to do anything. All you got to do is just use it and play it. That's it. All right? Aurora is a little bit different of a setup. This is the Xbox 360 folder right here. Okay? 
Now, if you hit RB or LB, it'll bring up a context menu right here, and you'll see there's your Xbox Live Arcade. All right, and then of course RB once again. There's your emulators, and your emulators will pop up. Just give it a second. There we go. All right, RB once again. We'll go to Classic Games. Same thing as FSD, just a little bit better with database and a little bit better layout. Okay, and there's your homebrew. And your indie is, is of course, it, it's separated. Your indie is separated from your uh, from regular Xbox Live Arcade on this. All right, and then of course back to show all, and that shows everything that's on the hard drive. Okay, now uh, if you if you hit the uh, back button, that'll bring up your file manager scripts. Restart, reboot, shut down. We'll back out of there. And if you hit the start button, well, that's the business end of it with your assets profile, your content. These are all your content folders right here. They're already set up. Modules, language, security, and about. Okay. Now, what we'll do is we'll change this back over to FSD, just to keep it simple. And I like keeping it simple, stupid. It works good that way when you do that. All right, so we'll go back into Dash Launcher, right? It'll load. Now, we'll go to Pass, and then what we'll do is we'll change this back to FSD. So, it's real easy. Just hit Select, and back out to the Double Dot folder. Go down to Freestyle Dash, and then what we'll do is we'll select the default.xcx. There you are. Now, we'll run Freestyle Dash once again. RB, bring it down. Okay, X to save it. Read it back out, and now we'll reboot into FSD. Okay? Works really good. Uh, Alright, now, okay, now just to show you uh, a couple of blog posts and all that kind of good stuff. Alright, uh, once it boots up here, in which we just did. Alright, we'll select the profile assigned into right now. Alright, there we go. Alright, and then what we'll do is, is uh, we will go ahead and we will uh, we will continue by playing a game. Okay, now all of the off posts from W3, Ghosts, and VO2, uh, are the same. D pad left to open, X to select, B to back out, D pad left to close. Alright? Now, uh, BO2 has GSD menus, okay, besides the off post, so we'll select BO2. Alright? Um, that's going to give you Jiggy. You hold in left trigger, push down right thumbstick, that opens it up. Uh, A to select, X to back out. And then Sentinel for zombies, uh, hold in left trigger, push down right thumbstick. X to select, hold in left trigger, push down right thumbstick. That'll back you out or back you out to the sub menu, okay? So we'll hit start here. There we go. And let's see here now. And I'll tell you what, we'll go to a, we'll go to a multi-game here, okay? Go to multiplayer. Alright, and the all post is going to load. There you go. Alright, and then uh, we'll do a local game here. Okay? We'll add some bots to it. Do nine, okay? And then we'll start the match, alright? Now, I'm going to start the match. I'm going to start off with Jiggy, because uh, I'm going to select God mode and all that stuff so I don't get my ass blown off. All right, and then we will open the off post and we'll select using the off post and everything, okay? So, let's start the match here, and uh, we'll go from there, okay? Just a little demonstration. All right, that way then you, you know what you're messing with here. Okay, now sometimes, you know, you can get confused real easy with the menus, with the way they open and close and all that, so it takes a little bit of time, but you'll get used to it. So, we'll pick it done here, okay? Hold it on my trigger, push down my thumbstick. Go to main mods, we'll do quick mods, okay, good. Then we'll back out of here by pressing X. We'll go down. We'll add some bullets to it. We'll do. Uh, yeah, we'll do swarms. Then we'll do uh, grenades. The and then we'll do some dumb bullets because that'll make it real quick and easy. We'll back out of there. Then we'll back out of there. All right. D pad left. That opens up our off post. X to select. We'll select all this crap right here. Okay. And we'll do aimbot. We'll do on screen. There we go. All right. And then uh, EXT. We'll turn that on. Pyramid, yep, turn that on, turn that on, and then we'll turn that on, okay? Now, we're back out of here. Now, when the snap lines turn blue, that's when you can let them have it. So, like that, see? Okay? Yeah, just like that, see? And then both come out of here. Of course, you can fly through here real easy. Yeah, we can just let them have it right there. Yes, yeah, everybody's going to die. Yes, we can fly through the air once again, okay? Yeah, just let them have it right there. Go, 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 go. There you go. Yeah, we're going to kill everything in sight, and pretty much, uh, you know, that should be about it. And, uh, pretty much, uh, yeah. See, in victory's mind, saved me. What? So if you really want to be a penis with fingers, this is the way to do it. Okay, right? That works really, really good, I promise you. Okay. Oh, look, a dog tail. Cool. <laughs> oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to be very painful. Yes, it was. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's it. Hump him. Hump him, too. There you go. So anyway, there you go. There's your, uh, there's your one for us. I got to get stuff. Okay, you're all good to go. All right. Now, look at that. That's done. Okay, we'll back out of here. Yes, we're going to leave the lobby. We'll back out of here. And we'll go to zombies, okay? 
The zombies are a little bit different of them. Well, it's basically almost the same damn thing, except they made it so you gotta hold the left trigger and push down the right thumbstick all the time. And don't ask me, I didn't write the menu, okay? I just put it on there, okay? So, we'll go to local. And, uh, yeah. Our wonderful planet comes up. Yeah, let's go here. Yeah, it, it kind of looks like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Transit, yeah, I'm gonna start the match, okay? Now, remember, hold the left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick, okay? X to select, and then hold in the left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick, and now back you out to the sub menu or back you out completely from the menu, okay? So, anyway, we're gonna start this thing off here, and I'll just show you a quick little thing here, like I do for everyone, alright, just so you know, okay? Good? Alright, now. There's our menu right there, X to select, and we'll select God mode, we'll go to uh, a little sprint, double speed, no clip, yeah. It's dark. I hate the dark. No, really, of course it's dark, it yeah. What the dumbass. Yeah, bad shit's gonna happen in dark, alright, you know? So, anyway, yep, and we'll do aimbot, and we'll title the aimbot, okay? Hold in on left trigger, push down my thumbstick, okay? Weapons venue, okay. We'll grab a, we'll grab an MP5. Yeah, there we go, okay. Bring that back up here, and then we'll go to, uh, we'll go to weapons options, okay, and we'll use the, uh, yeah, the pack of guns. There we go, okay? See? Oh, it works really good, okay, you know? See? And I lift, okay? Now, holding my trigger, push down the right thumbstick, holding my trigger, push down the right thumbstick, and as you can see, it backs out and everything brings you there. Then you can, uh, you know, zombie menu, you just going to hit X. There we go. Spawn a bunch of zombies, and you go, and you turn it in the and we can kill them all. And then we'll spawn some more, okay? And there's some more, yeah, right? We'll kill them too, okay? And then we'll spawn some more and we can kill all zombies. There you go, and they're all dead. They, you know, all fall around. Ah! Okay? And then of course, you, you know, there's, there's so much on this thing, it's not even funny. It's, a, it, it's loaded. I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Map mods, lobby mods, all that kind of stuff. And you tell the there you go. Ah, shut up. Sounds like you had a bad breakfast or something. So anyway, as you can see, it teleports all around and everything, everything all works, you know, there you go. Pretty simple, right? Okay? Now, okay. Now, what I'm going to do here, okay, is we're going to bring this back to uh, FSD now. Oh, I hate when it does that, damn it, it picked that skin, I hate, mmm. There's an easy way to fix that. When you sign into a profile, you pick whatever skin you want, okay? Uh, just go to your skins right here, and you will see there's a load of them on this one. They're, they got a whole bunch. One of my favorites right there, yeah, okay? So anyway, uh, yeah, okay, uh, we'll use that one, it's safe that way, okay? Hit beta back out, and then reboot, and then what it'll do is it'll just reboot the, uh, just reboot the software, and then go back in, and it'll run the dream thing, as you can see. Very tunable, you know, works all different ways, whatever you want to do with it, you know? Now, okay, just to show you here that it's online, we'll go ahead, we'll go to homebrew section right here, alright? Go to Xbox 360 dashboard, hit the A button, hit it again. Alright, and then, uh, yep, there you are, Logan, Joey, Ben, we're back. You're on Alliance Live, welcome to Alliance Live, you're on Dashboard 17559. You can only have 30 reserve days left, got it good. Okay? Now, as you can see, you're signed in already, you know, everything is good. Alright, now, just to show you, here's our guide, alright, and then, of course, you know, over in the fifth tab, you have your, you, you know, you have your cheats. Here you have your, uh, bo 2 cheats, ghost cheats, and model Walter 3 cheats, okay? To enable or disable, just hit A. There you go, and then to enable it once again, just hit A. Okay, they come enabled right from when you start up the system, okay? No big deal. Alright, so we're going to back out of there, okay? And as you can see, everything is all cool, alright? Now, alright. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring this back to FSD, alright? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get this thing online for the first time once you get this home, alright? Which is going to be shipped out tomorrow, okay? Um, here's the deal here with this thing, alright? Look, here's one, you have to do this one time. This is a one-shot deal, Okay? So it's not like you have to do it every time, but there's a one-shot deal to set it up on your network, okay? I'm going to show you something here, all right? Look, when you first get the crazy thing, all right, before you power it on, all right, I want you to grab hold of this uh, drive tray right here. I want you to grab hold of this, and of course, you know, it's brand new, so it's a little tight. And pull a hard drive, leave it up there and everything. Plug it all in and everything, okay? Get your controller ready. Power it on, okay? Now, when the system boots... It's going to boot up into it's going to boot up into your stock dashboard, and it's a very fast booter, as you can see. It's booted. It's done. There you go. And, and you're going to get the uh, Xbox Blackboard screen. Okay. When you get the Blackboard screen, we we have to set up we have to set it up on your network because right now it's on my network. Okay. And my network is not going to work where your network is. Okay. That's why we're going to do this. So we're going to go up over, bring it to settings, bring it to system. All right. Go to network settings. All right. And then what I want you to do, as you can see. 
Mine's already selected. Yours is going to be up over here. It's going to scan for it. It's going to find it. Click on it. Put the password in. When you do that, it's going to enable a test just like this. All right. You're going to, it's going to give you a check mark of two red X's or two check marks or red X. Doesn't really matter. Don't care. All right. As long as you get a check mark. Okay. You must have this. If you do not have that, look at your router settings and see why it's not letting the Xbox on your local area network. Okay. If that is not check marked off, well, you can't get to the internet. You can't get the Xbox Live. You can't do a damn thing. All right. So make sure that that's check marked off. No matter what, okay? Now, once that happens, and it's all check marked off and everything is good, power the system off. Again, what I want you to do here is I want you to, I said power off, you son of a... Okay. Yes, sometimes you have to be brutal with them. Take out a hard drive, plug it back in. You'll see it with a click, just like that. Drive door, put that on. Pull the power cord, five minutes, okay? And even pulling power cords sometimes, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. It all depends, but... The minimum five minutes, okay? You gotta pull it out of there because you gotta let the south bridge die. It's gotta clear, the, it's gotta flush the TCP buffers and everything before it can connect correctly to Xbox Live. It's a DNS thing, what am I gonna tell you, okay? So, leave this out for five minutes. Now, I'm gonna plug it back in and hopefully it's on my network. It should stay connected. There's no guarantees in this because remember, this is Microsoft, okay? They poke themselves in the eye plenty of times, alright? And as you can tell, they're, they're very good at their security. That's why we can do this stuff here, okay? Thank you, Microsoft. Greatly appreciate your dumb asses, okay? Now, all right. Here's the deal here now. After five minutes is up, okay? Power it on. Hopefully the damn thing will boot. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take the controller here. All right. Now, system booted. You're going to see it pop up. Oh, come on. Are you kidding? Really? Hang on. Sorry about that. Yes, this monitor, kind of like my heart. It's starting to give up. See, it booted up into FSD. You can hear you can hear the fans being kick up and everything. Son of a bitch. I hate you, monitor. I hate you. Oh. Let's see. Now, is it going to show up? No, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know? Let me... <laughs> Jesus. Okay. I'm going to shut it down once again now. And then I'm going to restart it. I'm going to restart it, okay, because I'm going to show you. So, we're going to start up. Anyway, good boot time. <laughs> At least it's not a fluke. All right. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to sync the control here, okay. Now, system booted once again. Jeez, you're going to work. Oh, wow, look at that. It decided to use. Please, you know, put the... Okay. So, anyway, you'll see the stuff flashing around, okay. Now, once it stops flashing, that means it locked the server. Then you're going to hear the fan speed kick up. Then you're going to see FSD pop up. Then you're going to see a bunch of plugins come across the screen. If that happens, you're batting a thousand. Okay? Life is good. Okay? Then you're going to welcome to Alliance. We're going to get one more from the Purge. Okay? That's for GTA 5, by the way. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Once you log into the GTA, it'll pop up a text box menu. And, you know, just select which way you want to open the menu up and go. Okay? It's been around. And this menu's been around forever. So, you know, it's a good solid menu. All right? Now, look. Okay, here's the deal here. Okay, now, now that that's all done, okay, we made it there, we got to all that and everything, I want you to go to the homebrew section right here. Okay, then what I want you to do, is I want you to go to Xbox 360 dashboard, hit it, hit it again. Now, by rights, you should have a square that pops up, or maybe not, I don't know. Okay, it, it depends, it might as well being real weird, okay, but, however though, okay, once this happens and you come here, alright, I want you to download your profile, okay? Now, if you have an existing Xbox Live profile, download it. If you don't, go to xboxlive.com slash live, all right, and make yourself one, and then come back here and download it. Once it downloads, it should load something like this. You spin the guy around, all right, you should see the spinning circle of death, then you should see live pop up. You'll see the dude over there, he'll exit to the right and start whacking off where you can't see it. Yeah, I know this. He does it. I know he does. So anyway, okay, so once this happens, life is grand, you're good to go, all right, and now, if by chance, which happens a lot, okay, I hate to say this, but it's a quirk, Microsoft and their uh, wonderful server, sometimes when you're downloading your profile, you'll see it sit there for 15 minutes, and you're wondering, going, how much is left to download? It's not that big. What's going on? Well, that's because Microsoft is a bunch of idiots, and the damn thing corrupted while it was downloading, and they're sitting there forever. Well, if that happens... What you're going to do is stop it from downloading, back out of it, and come here. What I want you to do, I want you to go up, over, bring it to settings, bring it to system, okay? 
Once you go to system, go to storage, okay? Then once you go to storage, go to the hard drive, all right? Then what I want you to do, I want you to go to profiles, okay? Now, you'll see profiles like this, and you will see your pending profile underneath these two right here, okay? What I want you to do, I want you to select it, hit A, and I want you to delete it. Delete it right off the hard drive, okay, by hitting A. Okay, just delete the profile. You don't have to delete the items or anything like that. Just the profile, okay? Then, back out of here, back out of here, okay? Back out of here. Leave that highlighted, okay? Hit Y, okay? Then what I want you to do, clear the system cache. You're going to do it twice because, as I said, Microsoft in their genius ways, no matter what you do, you still have to clear it twice because it likes to leave little things here and there. Okay, now that's all done, okay? This is what I want you to do, okay? Look. Um, oh, and by the way, guys, I was in a light schedule this week because, you know, like I said, last Friday I had a heart attack, okay, so it was not cool. This week I, I had doctor's office visits and stuff like that, and it kept hindering me from doing my work, okay? I'm back on a regular schedule this week, just so you know. So it'll be four or five a day going out, just to let you know, okay? Well, I'm going to try anyway, okay? But anyway, needless to say, all right, now we're back here. We're back at this freaking mess here, okay? Now look. Before you go tearing off and everything else, there's something I want you to do. And I want you to do this very, very carefully. Okay, look. Go into your homebrew section right here. And there's a message to the madness here. You'll see XM360. Now, I'm going to hit this. I'm probably going to regret it because it's going to take an hour for it to figure it out. But that's okay. XM360 unlocks all of your DLC and your XBLA. Okay? Now, you could download DLC, put it on here yourself. You could download XBLA, put it on here by yourself. The problem is, once you download it, you put it in there, but uh, you'll notice, well, why can't I use it? Well, because it's not unlocked, okay? One of Microsoft's little security things, okay? So, and in their, in their quest for their security, of course, you know, the tighter, the, the tighter you grip, the more shit squeezes through your fingers. Some smart cookie made this program right here, which unlocks everything. All right, so, so much for Microsoft security once again, okay? <laughs> All right. You think they would learn, <laughs> you know, I mean, so, anyway, okay, so anyway, there you are, okay, there's all your XBLA, okay, you want to make sure that you unlock it, okay, so you're going to go here, you're going to go here, unlock XBLA, hit it, okay, everything's unlocked on here already, okay, life is good, then we'll go down and show DLC, it's going to take it a minute, that's going to show all the DLC, all right, and what we want to do, we'll unlo unlock that, there should be about 20 titles on here that it unlocks, no, 10, okay. So there's 10 DLC files on here that are now unlocked, okay? So everything else is all unlocked now, so life is grand. Exit the dash, you're good, there you go. It'll bring up FSD, and now you're free to roam and run and go and just, like, be a complete moron towards everybody online, all right? If you want to, okay? Or be nice and give some people some mods, you know, and check them out a little bit, you know? But if they're an asshole, let them have it, all right? So anyway, okay, now... Look, um, as far as arcade games, well, they all work, all right? We'll go to emulators, okay, just to give an example here. We'll do the Mad Monkey thing here, okay? There you go. There's your games, okay? You can go down, okay? Uh, holding down the right trigger is going to go page by page going down. Left trigger, page by page going up. D-pad down, game by game, okay? D-pad up, okay? A to play the game. It's that simple. All right, I'm going to feed it back out the back menu, and then we'll exit says, and there you are. Okay, now take it back to FSD. All the emulators, they all work the same pretty much, okay, and they're all self-explanatory. Now, all right, as far as classic games are concerned, okay, the deal here is, is this. Well, if you're having a, if you're having a problem with the, uh, with the signing credentials, I would suggest making a new profile and trying it out with new credentials, because... Obviously, Microsoft either either banned that ban that profile or whatever, or they locked it down, or they did something. That's what I'm going to tell you right now, because I've seen that happen plenty of times. Okay, so you know you need to check that. All right. Now, okay. Now, as far as um, as far as this is concerned here, with classic games. Okay, look, you can't play them with the server on. What I mean by that is when you have this guide right here. Okay, this fancy guide and, uh, with the server and everything can't play it, okay, what will happen is it will black screen just like that, and you will sit there wondering, why isn't it working, well, that's because, you now the, uh, the compatibility file and, uh, my server are trying to hook the same place in memory, okay, and, uh, the power PC doesn't like that too much, so, it sits there going like, screw you, <laughs> so, anyway, there you go, so, how do we fix this, it's easy, power system off, now, when you want to play classic games, it's real easy, all you gotta do, power, 
eject, leave the tray hanging out, okay, until it boots to the dashboard, okay? And when it gets to FSD dash, in which this booted once again, like I said, really extremely fast booter here, okay? Uh, and yeah, I, I don't like yanking my own chain, but the damn thing boots real quick, as you can see, multiple times, all right? So anyway, I'm going to boot up into FSD dash now, okay? Like I said, leave the tray hanging out. Now we can close the tray, okay? Then we will see, we will go ahead, we will turn our controller on. Sync the controller, go on over to uh, Xbox Classic Games. All right, and then what we do now, we can hit the Classic Game. There you go. You'll see the Xbox logo come up. There it goes, and it's going to hit it again. And then, oh, oh my God, no, I don't want to do that right now, okay? I don't want to do the update right now. Leave it alone, okay? I hate that when it does that. Oh my God, I hate that. Okay, so anyway, there you are. It's loading. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like trying to guys playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we have Josie. Ah, John Josie Marin, the freaking slutter, jumping underneath his feet. Put your seat up on and wear a condom so that way you can fuck me in the mouth, okay? Don't give a shit. Shut up, bitch. There's the game, okay? Hey, hey. So there you go. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, it all works good. Thank you the game. Guide button. Xbox home. Yes. Boom. Done. You're done. You're done. You're out of here. Finished. Done. Okay. There you go. Joey? <laughs> Joey and company. Okay, yeah, listen. Joey, thank you for your business, man. I greatly appreciate it. I hope that you like the system, all right? Well, we're going to be shipping it off tomorrow, along with uh, a couple other ones. And, uh, you know, you'll get a tracking number. And, uh, you know, like I said, enjoy it. Have fun with it, okay? And if you need anything, just give me a holler, all right? Greatly appreciate your greatly appreciate your, 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 your patience and your business, all right? Thank you so much, guys, for hanging with me. I greatly appreciate it, okay? And, um... You know, like I said, look, uh, if you need anything, just give me a holler. I'm around. Okay, I'm starting a regular normal work schedule this week. Now, after I'm recovering from... Well, I've, I've already recovered, but the doctors are freaking driving me crazy. In fact, they have, be, they have been driving me nuts. They've been calling me every freaking day. I'm like, I'm like look, man, I'm fine. Leave me the hell alone. You're going to give me a fucking heart attack, okay? You keep freaking calling me. Oh, my God. You know, I mean, please, I'm taking my phone and put it on freaking silent. And then, then what do I get? I get, I get Allah Akbar, or whatever the heck his name is. And, oh, Mr. Mandela, how are you feeling today? I was feeling fine until you freaking called me. You thought about... Leave me a freak alone! Whoa! Okay, so anyway, yeah, I'm getting my... Uh, I'm feeling the angina again, okay? You know, yeah, I'm getting... You freaking... No more like hemorrhoids, okay? But anyway, uh, I know they're doing a job. Okay, but Jesus Christ, okay? Look, I'm breathing, okay? If you see me back at the hospital, you know something went wrong. There you go. Okay, other than that, I'm fine. Oh, my God. Anyway, guys, listen, thanks for hanging with me. I greatly appreciate it, okay? Hope you'll do well. By the way, uh, stay out of the hospital. Don't have a heart attack, okay? Because it's not the heart attack that you have to worry about. It's the aftermath of all of these doctors and everything that you have to worry about, okay? Holy shit. Anyway, you're all going. I'll talk to you later, guys.